So I'm here with Nim, and he's going to talk about his BMW. Um, what did you start off with, mate? What, what, what's, um, what's the base of the car? Yeah, so the original platform is a 130i. Yep. So an E87. Um, it's gone through a lot of different iterations, but yeah, one of the notable things is it's airbagged. Uh, it's got full airlift and accurate management, all engineered. Uh, it's done properly. Um, it's been converted to a two-seater as well. Put in uh, heated Recaro Sports to CSs, so works with the factory heated seating operation as well. Okay. Um, carbon steering wheel with a flat bottom in there as well. What else? Um, Drivetrain's all factory still, still a 130i, but there are plans to put an S65 in it. Okay. Um, and probably the other notable thing is it's got a full OEM 1M body conversion done to it. Okay. So it's rear quarters are molded from a 1M, rear bumpers molded from a 1M, whole front end is 1M. Yep. Um, and it keeps the same ratios as a 1M, but it's a hatch. Okay. okay. And um, what's under the bonnet? So it's just a factory motor, so it's okay. a N52 6 cylinder. Okay. And um, the airbags, I see you, you put them uh, in the back, just yep. on display, yep. Yeah, so just a five gallon tank and then there's two compressors underneath, that are hidden. Um, just, yeah, it's just all functions through the touch pad at the front. So the colour, uh, factory? No, so the factory colour was a Le Mans blue. Um, it then became individual Wildberry for a bit. Okay. Um, all open door resprays, and now it's Hockenheim silver. Okay. So we try to, although the car is quite custom, we try to keep it somewhat correct to BMW. Okay. So they're all BMW colours, yeah. And the wheels you've got on it? Um, obviously, it sits up when you ride, but yep. um, any issues with those? What, what size? Um, what size boots you put under them? Yeah, so at the moment these are eighteen by tens or ten and a halves with two nine five thirties all around. Uh, square setup. Um, it's not my everyday setup. I do. I run a different set of BBSs for every day. Okay. But yeah, this side you've got BBS RS, and the other side you've got BBS RSs. So two different wheels. Um, and obviously they're not period correct, they would have come on the 90s BMWs from factory, but nevertheless, it's just something different. Yeah, it looks really cool. So what made you go with this style? Uh, it's just my first car, it's handed down to me. So, okay. Um, it was my first car, it's handed down to me, and then just had a, I just wanted to make a 1M hatch. Okay. Because it obviously is not a factory thing, so that's sort of the motivation behind it, trying to be unique and do something different, so. Yeah. Oh, cool. Looks excellent, man. Love it. Thank you. So, Nim, um, anything done with the exhaust? What would you do there? Yeah, look, exhaust, nothing special. We've uh, cut off the rear back box um, because it is a 1M rear bumper, so 1Ms have dual exit, so we've just just plumbed in some piping there to make it look half decent but it's yeah, yeah. about it so it's essentially straight pipe from the cat's back but okay uh, nothing crazy obviously once the s65 goes in it needs to be completely re redone anyway so yeah yeah that'll be a whole, whole challenge as well all right thanks nim all right cheers man cheers.